area five of seven pillars of servant leadership is having the foresight, uh, the vision, the being able to dream, know where the organization is going. Um, several of these that that you'll hear about tie together, in my opinion, and and uh, uh, but the first part of it is just knowing where is it as an organization that we need to go. Number one, to make everybody stronger, but also to make the organization stronger. Does the leader, does the servant leader, have a good understanding of where point B is to get to move us down the road? My name is Tim Mitchell. Um, I have pretty much grown up in this area. Uh, went to, grew up in East Newton. Went to school in East Newton. My wife grew up in Neosho. Uh, we were married uh, back in the late '80s and uh, started our family. I went to pharmacy school. Left for Kansas City. Uh, came back to Southwest Missouri and Neosho specifically in the late '90s and opened up a business back. Many years ago, I came up with the idea of <clears throat> trying to do a drug take back where we could pre prevent a lot of medications just sitting around in people's homes. And now it's statewide and nationwide. I'm not saying I'm the one that, that came up with the idea. I talked to other pharmacists and, and other healthcare providers that were doing these types of things. It just wasn't organized. Now it's much more organized than it was then. And it was a simple idea that we kind of came up with and just kind of threw some things together. And now it's, it's a big thing. I think it's important for us to uh, push our education system in front of a lot of uh, other things, because I think the the education system is, and just like Crowder College, um, when they're successful, the community is going to be successful. So I think it's important that we, as a community, support that. So you know, not not too long ago, we had a bond issue come through for a new junior high, and I was asked to to be involved with that, and felt very blessed that that, that passed. And and when we were able to do that, we rallied everyone to come together and realize that how important it was. And we talked about it. Um, there were financial challenges. I mean, <clears throat> nobody likes to pay more taxes. Um, but when we show the reality of what the situation is and how it's going to improve our community down the road, it becomes, okay, well, it's a little, in, it's, it's an investment and it's going to make our community a better place. Sometimes we have to think out of the box and thinking out of the box sometimes can get you in trouble, but it also gives you that visionary thought about, okay, well, we can do it this way. Let's figure out how we can do it. And having conservative, there's many conservative individuals here in this community that will make sure that things stay in, intact. But I think it's important to also think outside the box. It'll kind of push you along into the into the uh, the next era of, of growth or, or you know whatever you're working on. Um, I don't know if you've seen the picture of the iceberg floating above the water and the great big part of the iceberg below, this is all the things that people don't see that, that happen. Some of them are failures, some of them are, and then you know as people will see the tip of the iceberg stick up, sticking up above the water and that's your success. But I think it's important that, that individuals stay humble uh, because those failures will definitely humble you. And, and then keep your faith. I think it's important to, I'm a Christian and I do feel like that, that uh, keeping my faith and knowing that I may not know all the answers. And I think it's important for me to have uh, a trust that God's got a plan for me, God's got a plan for my family, and I, I'm being equipped with these ideas and it's whether I take them and move forward with them. I think it's important to have mentors um, because if you don't have someone that's a mentor, sometimes it's hard to make those decisions that other people have failed at. And I think it will make our community more successful. It'll make individuals more successful in their personal careers and in their families um, by, by having mentors. And then once you became more experienced, you become a mentor and, and you find individuals that you can mentor. I've kind of reached the midpoint in my career um, and my son is hopefully someday going to be able to, to come into the pharmacy career. He's, he's in pharmacy school right now and um, <clears throat> we also mentor other pharmacy students as well. And I think it's important that for my profession that I mentor those individuals so that they can take the 
the baton and run with it. And they can go further than we've ever thought about. And I think relating that to our community, relating that to our personal lives is very important. So having you know humility, um, working as a team, and having mentors to lean on and becoming a mentor are the things that I would highly recommend for individuals to, to be successful in uh, having a visionary outlook on, on life and their community.